Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna do one like this. Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines from Jacques Gaines Photography. I uh, did a photo shoot a long, long time ago and it just stayed in my computer. That's what I want to talk to you guys about. That whole idea of some stuff not going to your liking and you leaving it in the computer and not going back to it. Sometimes it's worth it to go and check that stuff out again. I got a spot. Okay. I mean, I trust you. We can just go and try stuff out. However, you can trust me so much because it's sear wheel. So I don't know. First of all, I'm pretty sure you can't do anything on paper. You're gonna ruin yeah, it. it's gonna. I mean, I can like make it spin a little bit, and if not, we can do just like I brought other clothes, and we can do just movement and stuff. Okay, but what what I'd like to do is, did you eat? Not supper. <laughs> That's funny. Are you hungry? Um, I mean, not like super hungry right now. I like okay. ate a late lunch, but we can. I, I kind of rushed over because you were like, oh, the light. So I was like, oh, shit. I was like, I just came out of Oops, the hairdresser. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Um, uh, but like we can do whatever now. Let me think. Let me think. I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. thinking. All right. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah. Good stuff. Let's I've go. never done like a, an outside shoot. Before. No? No. It's pretty, huh? Yeah. Pretty. What do you think? Yeah, it's really cool. So look, what we could do is, you can roll on this, can't you? Is it bumpy or what? I mean, it's pretty big gaps. We'll have to try. I don't think I'll be able to like do like that much, but we should take it out just because like. This must destroy a, a wheel. So we're gonna film right here. See the tower in the back? I'm gonna be standing on that. I'm gonna take some shots from up there. But there's some couple of shots we're gonna do at the bottom. Erica is preparing her wheel now. Once she's done, we'll take the shots. There's a thing that happens when you uh, edit videos that you've done like on a, on a daily basis. Sometimes you come up to areas in the day that uh, there was a malaise or uh, an awkwardness to the time. And I think it would be important to mention one that happened right here with me and Erica. Nice, but you know, it's, it's, it has nothing to do with being sexy at all. It has a lot to do with lines. I cannot see any lines. So aesthetically, I mean, it's also really hard to get good shots of wheel. Yeah, um, that's for sure. But see, like, that's kind of cool. But that would be really a lot cooler if that we saw. The I don't lines know. I, I I don't agree. I feel like wind and movement, like that's really like you know, it's cool that the clothes the clothes is like part of of it. You know, like I like that is like a really cool image. By the way, there's a lot of stuff happening. There are awkwardnesses that happen sometimes in photo shoots, especially when you're doing them among friends and everything's kind of free. Uh, I just wanted to mention that sometimes don't give in on that awkwardness and be very open-minded. Uh, one reason why is by looking at my, and actually editing my photos, I realized that for a lot of reasons, Erica was right. It is nice. Some of the flowy stuff is nice.
I was very lucky to have someone who was very open on her side. She wasn't close to the idea of wearing something a bit tighter. I had a bit of a time convincing Erica that I didn't want her to necessarily be sexy and it was all about just getting the lines out. In circus, it's a really tough thing to do sometimes. In any sort of sport, ballet and dance, you really want to get the lines out. So a lot of times you ask the subjects to dress a bit tighter. In this case, I just wanted to mention, if ever you feel yourself popped into a point where there's a bit of awkwardness, one person is pushing their artistic way and you're pushing the other, open yourself up to them, but at the same time fully expect them to at one point open up to what your idea is and at least try it. In this case, that's exactly what happened. I was open to Erica and we did some shots. Still didn't like them when I got home, but later on when I edited them, I realized she was right. They were super nice. And Erica was opened up to me uh, and she said, okay, I'll try some tight stuff on and we'll do some stuff with that. And she actually made an effort to make it happen, even though she wasn't a big fan of it. That's all I want to say. Let's continue with the video. Watch where you jump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea to take the wheel because that light is crazy. I mean, we could do portraits there. We could do this. Yeah, How is that one. top? What is it like a little top or? It's like a crop top. Okay, that's cool. I mean, I can bring the other stuff if you want me to try on different things, but I didn't like. I didn't. What have. were the shoes you wore at the show? I did not wear shoes. Do you want to so change? No. I mean, we could try a few more like this. I can look at them because okay. maybe like they'll they'll be like some really cool ones because okay. I like this look. Okay. So let's try a few more where it's like maybe a bit more full bodied. Okay. And then if not, I can just you know, maybe can put back because I can also just put this back on but with tight pants. Yes. You Great. know, so there's like the kind the of flow that the you flow wanted. and. Okay. So. so we'll take a couple more full body shots. Like yeah, this. but like not necessarily like portrait, like just other stuff. Okay. I think also Got like it. the fact that it's a pose is like maybe making me feel a bit awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. I can see. Yeah.
So there it is. I just wanted to show you that. Now, before I conclude this video, please, guys, be patient and watch. And I got to tell you a couple of things. Um, the biggest lesson I had with this actual shoot was don't be discouraged sometimes on what happens during the shoot and the vibe. Sometimes it can be awkward. Now, we talked about that just before. But also is that a couple of things. You can put this stuff in your computer. Now, do not get discouraged and never erase photos. Because one, you might learn to regret that day because I have been into files and stuff and I've gone back to stuff that I thought was mediocre and I looked at the shoot and it was actually amazing, not just good and not just passable, but actually really, really good. And this with this photo shoot with Erica was really the case. I just, just things didn't, the stars didn't align when I actually did the shoot. But at the end, when I edited it and put some stuff together, I was really surprised. Now, I edited most of the photos, but it doesn't matter. I'm still going to edit just a couple of photos for you uh, live in time lapse. So you can see uh, what I did with them and how I picked them. And uh, I hope you enjoy. <music> So there it is guys, and on this, this is my first photo shoot where I really use the Fuji system with the vintage lenses. Tell me your experiences with uh, your vintage lens collection and how it's been for you. Uh, mine was pretty good. Uh, it was a lot softer. Now I'm starting to get feedback from people because I did a live stream on this the other day. And on the live stream, uh, I really talked to people about focus peaking and they all told me that when you have a vintage lens and you open up, sometimes uh, your lenses tend to be soft. but in the end, I really like that, and that's what I love about vintage lenses, is that all the faults of the lenses are the good points of them. It's as if you're burning in a nice emotional effect into your images. So please leave your comments below. I hope you enjoyed. Enjoy the photos. Enjoy the slideshow. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget, everybody, keep on making something from nothing.